If you're a machinist and you're still broke, you need to listen to me. It's not your boss. It's not the economy. It's not all the problems that you've worked up in your head. It's probably just you. And today I'm gonna to actually give you the hard truth, but I'm also gonna give you a way out so you can actually find success for the first time in your career. When you go into different chat rooms, when you go on social media, when you talk to machinists and go into machinist groups, a lot, there's a lot of negativity in there. A lot of people will tell you, you can't actually make good money in this career. But I'm here to tell you that that is a false narrative. I've had the privilege of going into shops all over the world. I've seen machinists who have risen to absolute greatness. I've seen machinists that have gone from the bottom and risen through the ranks to have their own shops, to actually make millions of dollars and to take their families to platforms that they could have never comprehended. And I've seen countless other machinists that are absolutely great machinists, but they settled for mediocrity. They settled and stayed in the same shop for 10, 20, 30 years, complaining about how the shop is run, complaining about the, the dirty floors, complaining about the lack of money for proper resources and proper tools and proper machines, complaining and complaining. And that, my friend, is toxic. And that toxicity actually carries over into their families, into other parts of their lives where they're just not a happy person. But I'm here to tell you that this, this trait is amazing. It is absolutely great. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to have come from a crazy family. You just have to have passion, grit, and a head for it. You guys have watched me for many, many years, but let's get back to the facts of where I come from. I come from homelessness. I come from prison. I made the biggest mistakes in my life. I've been divorced. I've, I've wanted to be dead. I've gone through all of it. And yet, today I have a beautiful family. I got five kids. I have an amazing shop. If you come into my shop, you don't see the dirt and the grime. You see perfection. People say, well, Titan, it's only because you have this crazy platform that we see perfection. You think dirt and grime and mediocrity actually inspired the greatness that we're living in now? Absolutely not. When I got my first four machines, it was all about painting the walls. It was about the design on the walls. It was about creating a quality manual. It was about taking everything that I had on that level to perfection. And that's exactly what we have to do in our own lives. We cannot accept mediocrity. We have to accept and go after greatness. We have to make precision, not about checking parts, but precision is about how we live our lives, how we speak to other people, how we dress, how we fixture, how we create efficiencies in the process. Precision has to be a way of life. You know, if you work in a dirty, grimy shop and you're complaining about it, you need to have the courage to stand up and actually thrive in it. People tell me like, Titan, if my boss doesn't care and he doesn't pay me enough and, and he, all he's doing is driving me down, why would I work hard for him? Because you are a man or a woman with a destiny, with a call on your life, and you have potential that nobody else has. So you can't let anybody else make you something less than you were destined to be. So rise to your full potential on any level that you're at, and then have the courage to actually move to a different shop, a clean shop, a place that will pay you well. A lot of people say like, well, you know, I didn't get paid well and I didn't get this and I didn't get that. I worked in the same cities and yet I got paid well because I refused to work at certain places. When I went into a job interview, I actually interviewed the owner, whoever it was that was actually interviewing me. I interviewed him right back because I wanted to know, like, what are the levels in this company? What are you willing to do? Where is the company actually going? And is that good for my family? So you have to make sure that you're in the right shop and that you're deserving of being in that shop. Now in machining, we have different variables. When you look at a machine tool, it's not just the spindle, it's the work holding. It's, it's the, the holder that the tool is in. It's, does it have through the spindle coolant? That's, that's another variable to 
the process? What is the work holding like? Have we taken all the chatter out? What is the tool? Is it stubby and rigid or is it long and flexible? We look at what type of material we're actually machining. We look at the tool, make sure the tool is perfect for that. We look at the surface feed, the chip load. We look at the depth of cut. We look at all of it and we basically take everything to the highest level. When we look at the coolant, is the coolant perfect? If it's, if it's titanium or if it's ink and oil or something higher, where is the coolant viscosity? Is it, is it at like a seven, which is good for aluminum, or is that like a 10 or a 12 or a 14 so that we can get lubricity in that tool to cut those chips? All of it matters. When you're a machinist and you wanna to rise to absolute greatness, you have to have a good understanding of the controls and putting the code into the controls on editing quickly, um, programming, how the program works, how the CAD works, how the entire system works and you need to look at all variables and take it to the highest level when when you look at your family when you look at your house when you look at your car when you look at your kids when you look at the process of life that you walk through it's the same thing it's all variables now as an individual in a shop how do other people see you how, how are you dressed how is the word spoken from your mouth are you inspiring are you positive or are you negative because bringing negativity brings more negativity and bringing inspiring and positive words brings more positive to the shop. You need leaders and customers to come into the shop to look at you well-dressed, well-spoken, a pillar in the company, the table laid out, inspection tools perfect, the machine humming perfect. Looking at the machine time, looking at the process, looking at how many parts you're actually manufacturing at the same time, taking every aspect to absolute greatness. And they need to see that the greatness is in you and everything that you touch. And when they look at other individuals, hopefully they're inspired by you, but you're a standout. Because when you're a standout, that's when the owner is saying, look, the customer is impressed with my employee right here. And thus, this employee is worth me fast tracking that employee to greatness. If you're mediocre, don't expect a great paycheck. But if you take all variables in life, in machining, in editing, in everything, you take it to the highest level and you make the company money, you make the owner look good, you make your supervisors look good, you will be fast tracked to a higher level. And that excellence, that precision will demand a higher paycheck. And you live in that zone right there. And if they don't actually give you a paycheck that, that is fair for the level of skill that you bring to the table, the attitude that you bring to the table, all the entire package, take all of it, your brand, and you move to another company and you sell yourself on all of it and go to a company that has a future, that has an inspiring vision for the company. Look at the products that they're making. Is this a product for the future? And go after greatness, be a part of greatness, and then come in with your entire toolbox, everything that makes up you, bring it into that company and be a pillar in that company. And you will rise up to be a great leader to potentially either lead that company or to have your own company. And a lot of people say, like, I wasn't built to have my own company. I wasn't built for these different things. Maybe so, but there is a place for you and there are great companies. And right now, manufacturing like 2026 is going to be insane. The last quarter of 2025 is going to be insane. We're, we're going to see a ramp up. 2026 is going to be on fire. There's already shops that are, I, you can just feel it and see it. They're buying machines, they're buying tools, their work is coming back to our country. And no matter what country you're from, manufacturing is lighting on fire. You need to make your own parts in your own country to, to train your own people and put food on your own tables. And that's what we're doing here, right in the great United States of America, where somebody from homelessness to prison, to all the, the, the things that I've done in my past, can have a platform right here and teach CNC machining, can have 600,000 students online getting free education, and now distributing machine tools. You see, the, the company has become my part, where I've dissected it, taken each variable, 
each part of it to a higher level. The company is my ultimate part. When, when other people see it, they see, they see a crazy company, a hybrid that's never existed before. I see a piece of art. I see my part. And I'm deeply humbled that we've built it on a foundation of serving our industry. 600,000 current students, millions of people being inspired, billions of views. We're selling machine tools and tools and distribution. We're taking the money to take to the highest level. We just got a new CNC machine right here. So these guys are kind of messing with me over here. 7,000 RPM, super speed. Shop is looking crazy right now. I hope you guys are gonna to come to Boombastic, but that's it. I came in this morning just off the cuff. I wanted to inspire you guys. Stop complaining and start doing. Stop looking at everybody else and seeing them as a problem. Look at yourself and figure out how to rise to greatness, how to make yourself as, as a machinist, as a father, as a mother, as, as whoever you are. Take all your variables to greatness and everything you do, take it to greatness and you will earn that money and you will have a crazy life and dream big. Go after it, speak it, pray on it and go get it. Boom.